Hey medicos, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk on the another sets of instruments in ophthalmology. So, in this group, first we are going to talk on forceps. So, we have four different types of forceps. So, the first one is plane forceps. Then we are going to talk about superior rectus holding forceps. Then iris forceps and at last about the artery forceps. So, let's talk about first one that is plane forceps. So here we have the plane forceps, look over here, this forceps without any teeth and at the tip, these are the serrations and this is the handle. Let's talk about the uses of plane forceps. To hold conjunctiva during any surgical procedures, to tie sutures, to hold skin during eyelid surgery, to hold nasal sclera flap in trabeculectomy. In forceps, the other instrument is superior rectus holding forceps. So look over here, here we have the image of superior rectus holding forceps. It is a stout forceps with double curvature. So it just look like S shaped at its end. It has one or two teeth at its tip. Look over this image. These are the teeth. Its curvature at the tip is to fit with the curvature of the globe. So what are the uses of this forceps? It used to catch the superior rectus muscle belly for passing bridal suture so that the eyeball can be rotated and fixed downward in cataract, glaucoma or other surgeries. It is also used to catch the inferior rectus muscle as in keratoplasty. So this is about superior rectus holding forceps. Let's talk about iris forceps. Look over here. Here we have the iris forceps. These are small and delicated forceps having one or two teeth in inner side of a limb. These teeth are very fine. These forceps also available in various shapes and designs. So what are the uses of these forceps? As name indicates, these are used to catch the iris for the purpose of iridectomy during operations for cataract, glaucoma, optical iridectomy and it is also used for excision for iris prolapse, tumors and entangled foreign body. So this is about the iris forceps. Let's talk about our next instrument that is artery forceps. So look over here, here we have the artery forceps. These are the serrations. This is the catch. So this is a medium sized fully serrated forceps with catch. It may be straight or curved. Okay. Now what are the uses of artery forceps? This is very important forceps because maximum surgeries we are using this forceps. So it is used to hold lead stitches and superior rectus stitch and then to fix the suture end with head towel. Yeah, it is also used to crush lateral canthus in lateral canthotomy. We are talking about the thermology uses to make irrigation cystitome from a 16 gauze needle to hold whole lacrimal sac prior to excision in DCT means what dacrocystectomy yeah and also for hemostasis during dacrocystorhinostomy and dacrocystectomy. So these are the uses of artery forceps. Let's talk about the another sets of instrument. These instruments are specially used for cataract surgery. So the first one is wire vectis. So how are you going to identify this instrument? Look over here. It is a ring of wire at the end of narrow limb. This is the narrow limb. Yeah. Attached to a handle. This is the handle. This wire loop may be little curved like a spoon. So what are the uses of this wire vectis? Uses are to remove a subluxated or dislocated lens to deliver the nucleus in extracapsular cataract surgery with irrigating vectis. So these are the uses of wire vectis. So let's talk about the another instrument which is used for cataract surgery. The instrument is two-way aspiration and irrigation cannula. So look over this image. This is the two-way aspiration and irrigation cannula. This is very easy instrument for identification. So it is a two-way cannula, one end of which is attached to a blunt needle, 
via the silicon tube and normally this end is fitted with an irrigation or infusion system and two way cannula itself is fitted with 2 ml or 5 ml syringe for aspiration so that's why it is called two way aspiration and irrigation cannula so what are the uses of this instrument it is used for simultaneous irrigation and aspiration of cortical materials in case of extra capsular cataract extraction or extra capsular cataract extraction with posterior chamber intraocular lenses it is also used to remove viscoelastic material after insertion of intraocular lens and may be used to remove blood in hypema so this is about the two way aspiration and irrigation cannula let's talk about our next instrument that is iol holding forceps means intraocular lens holding forceps so look over here here we have the instrument these are the blades okay so how can you identify this instrument it is a spring action forceps with short blunt and curved blade look over here yes this is the curved blade with smooth edges and there is no serrations and no teeth at the tips okay so this is the iol holding forceps what are the uses of iol holding forceps and this is used for to hold optic of non foldable polymethyl methyl acrylate intraocular lens during implantation so this is the use of intraocular lens holding forceps okay let's talk about our last instrument but not the least that is sinski hook or dialer look over here this is the image of sinski hook now how are you going to identify this instrument so it is an angular fine hook attached to a long round solid handle yeah so this is the sinski hook now what are the uses of this sinski hook it is used to dial the polymethyl methyl acrylate or non foldable intraocular lens for proper positioning in the capsular bag and to manipulate the nucleus in in phaco emulsification surgery so these are the uses of sinski hook or dialer so here we complete our important instrument which are going to be asked in your vivas for cataract surgery so till now in part 1 we talk about the instruments like chalazion chalazion scope which is also called as kivret then we talk about the speculums in which universal eye speculum guarded eye speculum wire speculum then we talk about the blades that is crescent knife angular keratom m v r or v lanced blade we also talked about bp handle yeah so this all instruments we learned in first part in this section of instrument we learn about the forceps in which four types we learned first one is plain forceps then superior rectus holding forceps then iris forceps and at last the artery forceps then we learn about the instruments which are used for cataract surgeries like wire vectis two way aspiration and irrigation cannula iol holding forceps and sinski hook or dialer so these all are important instruments for ophthalmology examination stay tuned for upcoming videos on pg preparation thanks for watching this video